Diva 29 welcome back to my channel I am coming on today to share with you a mini album that I just recently completed um, I am in a swap with she princess one and that is Bridget here on YouTube and we had decided to swap a couple months ago and we said we would swap mini albums and she asked well we kind of just agreed that it would be kind of like a girly theme and we could just run with it so I decided to use um, the papers that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby, which is Photo Play. And let me just see really quickly. I used this um, set from Hobby Lobby and it's Photo Play Paper Like a Girl. So that is the um, paper that I used to create this mini album. And so, yeah, let's get started. I did have to go into my Tuesday morning vault to kind of create this um, front cover. Uh, as you can see, I used um, some stickers and I think these, um, I know I definitely got them at Tuesday morning, but I wanna say it's crepe paper. I used a Michael's bow. I've got a tag behind the bow, which I definitely purchased at Tuesday morning. These flowers right here, an assortment uh, from Michael's and Tuesday morning. And then I used um, some trip board stickers, and then these stickers right here are from Hobby Lobby. I did use some of this Rick Rack trim that I purchased from Michaels. It's that sticky adhesive ribbon. And then I've got a chipboard heart. And I just love the way the cover come, came out. I never know what it's gonna look like because I always do the cover laugh last. And it's funny because Bridget sent me a text and she said that she always does a cover first. So I just thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, I'm really happy with the way that it looks and I think it kind of goes along with the theme of these, this paper stack. So um, let me just share with you the side. This is what it looks like and I added this pretty bow. I got this ribbon from Michaels and this is a charm and I did make this charm a while back. It was a DT project and I just kind of went with the colors of this collection and I just thought it was pretty so I just attached it to the spine. And then this is the back of the album. And you see I have my handmade stamp um, on the back. All right, and then if you're wondering the size of this album, it is about seven and a half by probably four and a quarter, in case you're wondering. And all right, so let's open it up. So this is the inside and it says shine bright and I did use some of those stickers. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. And um, this is the first page and it says you are awesome and I turned this into a shaker. I used a lot of the stickers and a lot of punches and sequence um, from my stash to create it and I love the way that that came out. Opening up this page, it says fall in love with as many things as possible. And I just used some flowers, and these are uh, stickers from the little collection it came with. And then you open it up this way, and that's the center. And it says you can go your own way. I did fussy cut this out of the paper collection. I used one of my Gina Marie dies right there. And then on this page, it says she who is brave is beautiful. And those are just stickers from the collection, and then some enamel dots, probably from Hobby Lobby, I can't remember. And then this page is just decorative and it just says love. It's part of the collection. And I use the sticker borders on the top and bottom. So that is the first page of my album. And then each page does have a pullout tab. And this is the pullout tab for this one. It says have more fun. That's just a sticker. And I use my Stampin' Up! tab punch uh, on all of the pullouts. And then on the back, you can either journal or add pictures. I just decided to leave it blank because I really did not want to add too much bulk to uh, the pullout tabs just because of the pages are already thick. So I wanted to keep it simple. So that just slides in like that. And this is the back of my first page. It says always a reason to smile. And I'll just kind of share with you how this works. The picture can slide underneath this like that. And then also I left a space underneath the bicycle. so. Um, you could slide your picture in. That's me and my son, I guess a year or two ago. But anyway, I just wanted to show how that works. So Bridget, when you watch this video, you'll know and see how to put the pictures in. 
And um, what I did, this is a sticker, and I just put some um, embossing powder over the sticker so it would, uh, wouldn't be sticky. And that's how I did that, in case you were wondering. All right, moving along, this is my next page. And this page was actually inspired by my friend Melissa, who is MP's princess here on YouTube. She had created an album using acetate and she did an acetate window and I just thought it was so cool and I knew I wanted to try that technique. So I finally was able to try it in this album. So what I did was I made this um, little flap and it says constantly change yourself. I use stickers from the collection and flowers and this is a sticker. I just uh, stuck it on a piece of uh, pink cardstock and then fussy cut it out and just kind of made my own little embellishment. This is magnetic so it opens up like that and then it comes down like so and it says hello beautiful and right here you can add a picture and I just love the way that that looks that little clear frame it's so cute and then it is magnetized so it just you can hear that little snap and then the top there is a little pocket and I do have two little tags that I made from my paper tray ink die and this one just says just breathe and that says listen to your heart and I did add a little Maggie Holmes tassel to this tag. I just thought that was really cute. And again, I just wanted to use some of the stickers from the collection. And then on the backs, she can put pictures or journaling, whatever she decides to do. And I really like the way that that looks. I added ribbon and a little bit of gold twine to the top of that tag. So I'll go ahead and slide the tags back in. I love the way that that came out, extra cute. And then this is the pull-out tab for this one. And they're all pretty much the same. It says run like a girl. And I forgot to mention, this heart paper is another Tuesday morning find. And, and I had to use another uh, paper collection or find something that coordinated with this paper because I literally ran out of paper. That kit, um, I can't remember how many uh, papers it comes with, but I did run out of paper. So I'm glad I didn't make this album any bigger because um, I literally used all the paper. And um, so yeah, I had to find something that would coordinate with the paper. So that's the back of the second page. I just added one of my um, clips that I had made a while back. It just kind of went with the colors of this paper. This is one of the cut, cut aparts from the collection and I just backed it on some glitter paper and added some bling. This girl is on fire. So she can add a picture to the back of this. And then right here are two more spots for photos. So she can put a photo on the back of this one. And this could either be a journaling card or a photo, a smaller photo. And I just added these stickers. These are ones from Hobby Lobby, those Paris themed stickers. I just thought they were extra cute. And um, I, th I, th I think this would be a, just a good spot to do some journaling um, on. And I did use this little paper clip to kind of keep them together because I just didn't like how it was moving around in the pocket. <laughs> so that slides in like that. Moving along to my next page. Um, right here, I used a punch. I made a, a rosette myself. I used that punch from, uh, I think, Teresa Collins, that star punch. And then this is a sticker from the collection. And uh, it says, hello, darling. And I have a paper clip right here, and I'll just take this out. It's kind of holding this together. I was gonna add a magnet, but then I forgot, so I had to use the paper clip which is fine. So opening it up like this, that's the top. It says creativity takes courage. And then this is just kind of like a little decorative page. And then that folds down, hashtag like a girl. Use some sequins and lots of stickers from, from the collection. I use my spell binders dies right here. And then this is so cute. It says, first of all, you're really pretty. And then, you know, you can stick the picture right there. I just love the way that came out, super cute. And these are all stickers from that collection. And then down here, I just decorated with some more of the paper. I use a chipboard heart. Um, this is a sticker, it says keep calm, take a selfie. And then again, this is open. So she can add her picture like that. It'll just slide in like so. So it's open so you can easily insert a picture. So this folds up like that. I love this paper. It's so pretty. And then I have my little paper clip holding it together. 
And this is the pull-out tab for this one, and this one just says, I adore this. I just tried to use up all the stickers that were, you know, with this collection since it's gone. Like, it's completely gone. So keep that in mind if you bought any of those paper collections from Hobby Lobby. If you get the paper when it's on sale and you want to make a bigger album, you might want to grab two packs instead of one. But one pack will definitely make a, a cute mini. All right, so moving along, this page right here is, um, I used my Spellbinders, I think five by seven matting stack dies to create this picture frame right here. This is a sticker from the collection, another sticker that I popped up on a adhesive, on a foam dot. Some clear enamel dots, if you can see them. That's really cute. And then this is the, the next page. It's kind of the same, just using some different stickers from the collection. Um, again, there's a space where the photo will fit perfectly. Um, and I did use that, that same kind of technique on this sticker using the embossing powder to take away the stickiness so that the photo could slide underneath. So super cute, love that. And then this is the pull out tab for this page. And it says, hello, beautiful. And that's pretty much all the same on all the tabs. All right, moving along. This is the next page right here. It says, follow your heart. I made a rosette using the Tim Holtz rosette die. And I did make a magnet. So this is a belly band. And it opens up with the mag magnetic closure. And as you can see, I made a, photo, a folio. And I love the way it came out. I used my Pretty Pink Posh uh, tab dies on this um, folio to create the tabs. I used my Momenta dies, word dies that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, it says love, fun, shine, and laugh. And that came out really cute. And then I'll just open it up. On the inside, I have the backs where she can insert a picture and then the fronts just have a little something on them, a decorative element. Another picture, some stickers from the collection. Again, paper from the collection and another sticker. I love that Teresa Collins punch, it's so cute. It's fun to layer. And then another picture and then this is just decorative paper right here. So I love the way that that came out and you can see I decorated the bands on both sides. And that's just a magnetic closure and it goes in like that. Moving along to my last page, this is a five page mini album that I created. This is just a decorative page. I did use my Martha Stewart uh, banner punch to create the banner. And I use this heart um, and love die set. This is a Sizzix die that I used and I did punch it out of chipboard and then I layered it with uh, glittered cardstock. And so same thing with the heart. This collection only came with stickers and paper, so I had to kind of get a little creative with chipboard and try to use some other uh, embellishments from my Tuesday morning stash to kind of decorate it a little bit. And then I just used the stickers from the collection right here, and I love the way that that looks. It's just a cute little decorative page. And then this is the pullout for this one, and I just used some of the stickers again. And I'll slide that back in, and this is the back of the Page. This is the last page, and again, I used, um, I made another rosette. I used the glass glitter around this rosette. It's so pretty. And then this is the sticker from the collection, and that's a punch. That's the same Teresa Collins punch that I used. I did make a magnetic closure, so that lifts up, and it says, You are awesome. And then this folds down, and it says, Happiest girls are the prettiest. And I just added a little bit of bling right there. That's probably from Queen and Company. And then this is the inside of this page. I backed this little uh, piece with some glow, a black glitter cardstock, added a bling, used my circle stitched dies, I think from MFT. That's where she can place a photo. Over here, I used my My Creative Time Happy. Again, this is a photo mat. And this was a sticker from the sticker collection. And I, again, used the uh, embossing powder on the back to get rid of the stickiness so she could slide her photo like so. 
in this little photo spot. So I really like the way that came out. I added some more enamel dots to that page. And that folds in like that, and then up, and then it has the magnet magnetic closure so it all stays together. I really love the way that this album turned out. This is the last page. It just says, Believe in Yourself, and that was a sticker from the collection. And I just backed it on some black glitter cardstock. So that completes my mini album. I really love the way that this came out. I honestly do not want to give it to her, but I know that I am going to get a scrapbook from her that is just as nice or as maybe even better, probably better. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, thumbs up if you like my mini album, and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.